my name's Darren Simmons. I'm the Print and Technical Services Manager here at Edel. I'm now going to show you our latest generation of FL3. So the material goes through the web guide. It's also a combined splice table on the top. And whilst we're going down the machine, you'll notice on the back that we've got a, it's, it's a rail system. And that rail system enables us to fit options. So we've got an option up here, which is a turn bar and DLAM relab unit. So we can print on both sides of the web and we can position that between print units wherever we need to. So we've got a film job set up, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is I'm gonna load in my print cylinders. Cyan first, magenta. So as we load these in, these print cylinders will be looking for its homing point. That gives us our home position of the cylinder. So that's all recalled in the job storage. So it puts the print cylinders in exactly the right place where I need it to go. Start the machine now. Impressions will come on, and that's our first color, ready to go straight away. Okay, so what we do, that's gonna come on through the machine, and the easy road is already switched on, so as soon as it gets to the camera, we'll then be able to uh, start seeing the register. All right, so that's through the camera there. So the circles you can see, that zoomed in quite a lot, so you can see that the circles are out. But what I'll just do now is if I just literally speed the machine up, and I'm gonna let the Edel Easy Red system bring all that into register. So what we're saying, we're looking at typically um, one to two web links to get all this into register. I don't have to do a great deal because the technology on here pretty much does everything for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a, a job change now to a label job. So I'm just going to load in our next job from our job storage system. And what's happened there, it's changed all the tensions in the machine and it's also adjusted all the stepper motors to the print heads because the material thickness will change as well. So right, let's uh, take these cylinders out and uh, we'll load in the next job. It's the black. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll change the roller material. Now this is a uh, self-adhesive PP white label stock. Let's right, that in. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna load in the die and we've got a locking system on the trolley as well, so there's no chance of it disappearing. And then we've also got a locking system on here too. Then I'm going to load the die in. So the die itself will actually home as well, so it goes to a set point. So that enables us to be able to waste strip exactly in between labels. So what's going to happen now is up here, the labels will start coming off the waste. And that's pretty much it really. So uh, that completes the demonstration of uh, general overview of the machine and the running of uh, film and label stock. Uh, thank you very much for watching.